we honor you tonight, and we are so glad you're here. Amen. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. <laughs> the traffic was crazy tonight. And we thought, well, it's going to be great leaving, you know, no traffic, and all of a sudden we get like, somebody was in an accident. I always pray for the people, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always pray for them. My prayer is, God, don't let them leave this world without knowing you. Yeah. Amen. Most important prayer you can pray. Whether they get made whole or not made whole, we want to make sure they get to heaven, right? Yes. So how many people, just curious, this is the first time you've ever heard me speak? Anybody? A couple? Um, but do you know what I do for a living? Do you know? But this is the first time in person, right? Okay. Well, it's too late. Because <laughs> you're already sitting in the anointing and... What you hear tonight may not be something you've never heard before, which is perfectly fine. These are very unusual days. I heard you all talking about the soul, mm -hmm. which is one of the most important things you'll ever learn in your life. Mm -hmm. And already talked about the spirit. I was born again at age four. I'm a seer. I saw Jesus step inside of me. It was too late for anyone to say that he didn't exist. <laughs> so you could never say that to me. Being a seer all of my life, this is just you can the five minute version of about me. Um, I was never a talker. I never wanted to be a talker. <laughs> you know that's who God picks, right? Yes. The quiet ones to talk. <laughs> the ones who talk all the time, he wants them to be sober and quiet and do a lot of deep intercession. But not those quiet people. Their mind never stops moving. They're always exploring things. You know, that's what they focus on growing up. It was hard to do in my tribe of 14 siblings. We grew up here in Florida, which was a big blessing. We loved the ocean, but I love God. My dad was my greatest example of a true believer. He was probably the most holy person I knew, except for his mother, which was really holy person. <laughs> we live this way on purpose. I am, I live holy and people think it's impossible. No, it's not, or the word wouldn't say, That's right. be holy as I'm holy. Living holy is, yes, free from sin, but it's also a deep relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That'd be the three in one, which I can explain very simply as any eight-year-old could, <laughs> as they knew what it was. Most of those deep scriptures that people take, they want to make it into something, you know, let's do it. it'll probably take five syllabuses to go through this one subject, and maybe you'll learn something. No, you need three minutes. You can learn something about God in three minutes that will change your life and you will live that after you share it. That's Amen. not man's mind. That's not his mind. Uh, it's not his brain. It's not the flesh. It is discerned by the Spirit, given by the Spirit, and that's why you've never seen it that way before. So tonight you're just going to get that version. I'm actually going to talk about the soul for a few minutes. Everything is going to be for a few minutes, then I'll be praying. So that's the most important part. Impartations. Amen. When you go anywhere that they know God, you should leave with part of God. Yes. You really should. Yes. You should leave with a part of the menu. Yes. Yes. Never to be the same again. We were put on this earth to represent Him. Yes. That's right. And act like Him. That's right. And even look like Him. Amen. Let us make man in our image. The reason he said that was so people would know they have a body. They think of their Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Well, Jesus has flesh now, but, you know, Holy Spirit doesn't really. But he actually has an appearance. So you're going to learn the proper way to say things to people to explain to them. Holy Spirit has an appearance of his outline of his whole being. It's fire. It's the, it's the rainbow wrapped around him. Um, so those are two of the images of lightning coming from him, but you can actually see the shape of his body. He's really big. He is the drama king. Amen. It's okay to laugh. Amen. Or else they wouldn't have given me pink hair. <laughs> I didn't get a choice in most of what I'm doing. I wasn't asked if I wanted to do it. I was told I would do it. One of the most important things you'll ever say to, to them in heaven, to Elohim, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is you have permission to use me any way you want to. Amen. If you ever said that, scratch your own list until <laughs> it's gone. That's right. That's right. 
and don't think in your head, this is what I'll become, this is what I'm planning. <laughs> Most of the stuff yes you do was something you never would have planned or never would have chosen. I would have never chosen pink hair. I would have never chosen to talk to millions of people, let them kiss and hug me. <laughs> Chase me down the street. I can't go anywhere. That was the whole purpose of the pink hair. Did you know, this is a very deep thing, <laughs> that you cannot hide if you have pink hair. That's right. <laughs> you can't hide from anyone. That's right. Not the world, not the believers, certainly not the leaders of churches, especially if they don't like pink hair. <laughs> what you do get to do, though, is you get to see how you discern between the flesh and the spirit. That's right. The Father told me when I started doing this, you'll know immediately if they're in the flesh of the Spirit. If they love you, if they love the revelation they get, they're excited about it, they're disciplined with their Spirit. If they say, I don't like that, no one's going to like it, you've gone, the deep, you've gone off the deep end, no one's going to listen to you, you're going to scare people. Guess what they're in? The flesh. That's right. You're flesh and your Spirit war against each other all the time. Yeah. Choose the Spirit. Every time. Yes. Because you know why? If you walk in the Spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the... Flesh. Say that loud. Flesh. So I don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. That's right. I have no chance of ever doing that. I walk in the Spirit. Walk on air. I've been to heaven over a thousand times. I was always taken. I don't just decide to go and walk to the wall and be there. I walk through many walls, walk through people. It's not a normal life. That's right. You should not be normal. That's right. You shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. On earth as it is in heaven, is that what it says in the word? Yes. Say on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. That's how we need to live. How we need so live. I cannot be normal. So I can't be normal. I can not be, can be afraid. I need to stay excited. I need to stay excited. And always have an answer. Always have an so answer. others will be excited. So others will be excited. Even the lost. Even the lost. <laughs> Maybe you need hair color. <laughs> God is not against bling. <laughs> right. If they had a word for their fashion line up there, it would be bling, their mansion, bling, the streets, bling. You know what I mean by bling? It's pretty shiny things. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. lights up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to stand out. Yeah. The wealth of the wicked, which they're about to lose it, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just and the... Unrighteous. Say righteous. Righteous. That means you're born again. So look at how much sorrow says when I'm just, by the way, do I have permission to say whatever he wants yes. me to? Yes. Yes. Because I will anyway. <laughs> I'm his mouthpiece. Amen. I am a revelator. It's a fancy word for prophet who gets taken everywhere and shown everything. Through time, after time is gone, wherever they feel like taking me, giving me revelation about the word of God is one of my favorite things to do. But I'm not normal. From the time I was a little girl, my mom would look at me and say, you're not normal. You are so strange. <laughs> Thank you for validating my entire life call, Mom. She's 93, travels all over the world with me to share about heaven. She operates the baby zone. If you're married and you need a baby, contact her. You'll have your baby, trust me. I'm not kidding. After having 15 kids, she's highly anointed to pay for people to have babies. That's right. But you will face her, not with her plumb switch. That was funny. <laughs> Y'all thought you were going to get something really deep. You are. You should be, you're being shown who you are. Okay? My mom operates the marriage zone and the baby zone. The marriage zone comes first. That's right. <laughs> and yes, she does tell people that. Say, call her before mom, are you married? No, then forget it, hang up. <laughs> Hi, that can you marry you? She raised us with a lot of wisdom, a lot of fun, and a lot of direction and correction. If you want to raise your child right, 
This is the way God raises us. This is straight from Him. Affection, direction, and correction. You cannot leave one of those out. You will not have a well-rounded individual. You just won't. So if you have a child, make sure you write that down somewhere. How do I raise this kid? Affection, direction, and correction. If you don't use all three, you leave out the affection, they'll not even know how to love people. They know what love is. They don't know how to respond to other people. They won't feel like they're bonded with you. Direction, they'll never know what they're going to do or how to do it or where to go to do it. Correction, they'll think that you owe them the world. So make sure you use all three. And my mom will not have a problem telling you about that either. And when I'm done with my meetings, if she's with me, she has her own. She has a wine. Yeah. I go to meetings now, they come up and give her money. I need to have a baby. During the meeting, they're whispering to me. She goes, are you married yet? <laughs> no, then don't bother me. <laughs> We're supposed to be open to loving everybody. Mm -hmm. God wants to vile the sinner. I think we see a lot of them right now. And just because I feel like it, how many people are going to vote for Trump? If you don't, we need to do a brain scan on you right away. <laughs> You've been sticking your head in a hole somewhere. I don't know what else it could possibly be. Because hell has invaded our country. And by the way, just so endless, let me tell you, this is from Holy Spirit. The drama king likes to interrupt my message. Because I gave him permission. He will, but it's usually something important. Trump is not our savior. He is not the king of the whole world. And he doesn't want to be, by the way. That's right. He doesn't want that. He knows he was called to be president. He is going to be president again. I don't care who in the world says it against it. Just get over it. If you don't want him, we need him. That's right. That's right. God appointed and anointed him for this time That's right. because of what's coming. That's right. Not the evil. The greatest days on planet Earth have not happened yet. Mm -hmm. The greatest days in this country have not happened yet. The greatest things the body of Christ will do have not happened yet. Are you willing to give that up? I hope you say no. Because no. God isn't. The reason the enemy is going full out wild trying to take over this country before his time is because he knows what's coming and he's terrified of the glory. He's terrified of the glory. He's terrified of the fire of God. He's terrified of the lightning power of God. He's terrified that we'll actually find out who we are and how much power and authority we have through Christ. Yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. He does not want us to know that. So he's yeah. threatened to kill or has killed or has bought and sold everything, things that don't belong to him. Okay, China has no real contract with this country. And by the way, the leadership in this country are illegitimate. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. This is from the Father. They're illegitimate. That's right. They didn't win. They stole it. Remember, people, when you don't win, you steal if you take it. They have no true power or authority in this country at any measure whatsoever. They have broken every law that we made as a law. They're trying to get rid of everything that talks about the law. We need a way to operate in this country. It's already been designed by those who gave their lives. That's right. Those who sold out everything they had just to make sure that we are safe, that we have food to eat. Now you can't even eat the food that's made. Is that right? That's right. Anybody who wants it, here's a little free tip just for me. Um, organic farming will be one of the biggest things you could possibly have in your lifetime. Mm. Coming up, people will want the real stuff, the real way, without fake things, no bioengineering, no GMO. That's right. Because those things are bad for you. The enemy is doing things on purpose to kill us. That's I don't right. know why I'm saying that. Hello, people. Yes, I said that. That's right. They have a plan. Kill, steal, destroy, because their true leader is Satan, and that's his MO. They're not doing things because they're not quite smart yet. They will never change. That's right. They're never going to get better. They're never going to offer anything that is better, anything that is righteous, anything that is fun, anything that is, will help us. They don't want to help anybody. They want to take everything that belongs to you. This is uh, as honest as anybody could get. 
I have a microphone. I carry and speak truth, and only truth. I don't embellish anything. I say what they said, and I share what they showed me. That's right. I've seen the future, all the way to the new earth. That's a lot of being shown things. That's right. We win. Amen. Yeah. Come on. We win. Say you lose. So right. there's everybody who follows him. That's right. I don't care how many times he's, and if anybody's listening, I don't care how many times he's shared with you about what he's going to give you for being evil. You'll get on a meat hook right next to Hitler. That was his reward. That's not what he was promised. If you think you can take the, the words of a liar who is the father of lies and expect them to be true and they're actually going to happen, you're wrong. That's right. That's why every time I speak on somewhere, I'm always telling people, repent while you have time. That's right. You won't like hell. That's right. You won't like the lake of fire. That's true. You can't, you can't change your mind when you're there. That's right. So do something right now while you can. Because your window is coming to a really quick close where nobody will need your testimony or your witness. Mm. Y'all like this meeting? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Greatness is coming to planet Earth, so much so that it will erase the gray area that says there is no God. Amen. That's never going to happen, although a lot of people believe that right now. Where the manifested sons and daughters speaking to the land, the sea, and the air, and it obeys immediately. Come on. The earth is crying out, not because the end is here. Stop saying the rapture is going to happen. You'll still be waiting a hundred years from now for it to come and get you. That's right. I think he said occupy. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yes. Occupy until he comes. Is that what he says? That's what he said. Yeah, he don't have a date. No. Nope. You know why Jesus don't have a date? He doesn't know it. That's right. Only the Father knows. Only the Father knows when time is up. Yeah. So until then, keep reading your Bible. Go to the parts you haven't read before. <laughs> so many powerful things are about to happen. I'm not missing anything. I don't care if I'm here 300, 400 more years. Who would want to be here that long? <laughs> I don't want to just see things. I want to be a part of it. That's right, yes. It will be amazing, exciting, the glory and the splendor. Just to give you an idea. You fly to a city because God said you're going to go here and you're going to hold meetings with people in the streets. Your plane lands. It shook all the way there because of the glory you carry. Come on, come on. You stop storms. You stop yes. crashes. Yes. You've had the angels hold the plane in the air even if they take the fuel away. Come on. Your foot steps the ground. Steps on the ground. All evil in the city Come on. flees like dust. Come on. Because you have arrived bringing the glory of God. That's right. If you argue with me, Christ in you the is the hope of glory. Yes. yes. Why would he say that? Not because they want it all. Yes, we give glory. Glory to God. I'm sorry. I've been talking a lot. Can you tell? You can leave the cap off. It's loose. It's loose. What was I saying? <laughs> See, you were listening. <laughs> I would give up cookies right now. <laughs> if I had some. <laughs> We'd like that. <laughs> Jesus will come in your room to see him and he goes, this is going to be so powerful. I might get to go to some Titans the mountain range and see the father's backyard. I meant to go talk to the wind and hear it answer me. Yeah, come on. I meant to go swimming under the crystal sea and breathe it all in. That's right, yeah. that's right. I might travel on words of glory or ride the worship all the way to the throne room. That's right. No! He's come to take me to the newest bakery in heaven. Because some amazing baker, somebody's uncle or aunt or somebody, who finally is going to get to do what they were gifted to do and get the best cookies they've ever had. Yay. Why? <laughs> Jesus has a sweet tooth. Now I told you you hear inside secrets, right? 
He has a sweet tooth. He loves sweets. He lived on honey. His cousin ate honey. The family ate honey. Is honey sweet? Yes. He loves everything sweet. If you ever get to go to the throne room, I've been to it many times. And it's still undone every time I'm taken there. The throne is high and lifted up. There's levels. And guess what the shape of it is? Who do they say this image belongs to? The pyramids in Egypt, the Illuminati, who stole the image from the Father. His throne is a structure shaped like that. At the very top, there is a point. And right in that massive part right there is his throne. Underneath all of these high levels are prayer rooms where the saints, the souls are under the altar yeah. praying yes. is that what the word says yes. people picture an altar you know while I was raised in the Son of God they had an altar you got saved every Sunday they were, they, we, we're, seeing, we're seeing these souls stacked under the altar in front of God's throne no it's huge and all this space and this place in there for you to go and pray for your family members to clear things that God has said to you and that's where that place is it is under the altar but it's massive so this structure is massive that he has a throne inside and one outside with, with mountain of spices, mountain of gold and silver, uh, the winds mountain, the titans are there. It's a massive place. So I don't just have a symbol of what I think it is. I tell you what it is. Yes. That's what's there. On one side of the steps, there's four sets of steps going up to the throne. That's why you think it looks like a pyramid, because they stole it. Mm -hmm. The devil steals everything, people. Mm -hmm. Except what you don't let him steal. Right. Don't let him take your crown. That's right. Which you have right now. Some of you have it sitting on your head right now while I'm standing here. Mm -hmm. Your crown is on your head. Yes. Reach up and touch it. <laughs> Say thank you for the crown. Thank you for the crown. You have a crown room in your mansion. Mm -hmm. It's round, and there's so many crowns in there that already belong to you. That's what he rewards you with, that and cookies. <laughs> Kids like it when I talk, because I mentioned about Jello Land. I'm just going to go for it. Jello Land, Pudding Pond, you know, roller coasters that go under the Crystal Sea. The kids grab these huge daisies. You run down this hill into Butterfly Field, and they grab a big daisy that takes them like a copter anywhere in heaven. <laughs> Why do you think kids like heaven? Mm -hmm. It's not boring. That's right. You get to go to Creation Lab and see how God made the earth. How he actually made the earth. Mm. Then he'll take you anywhere in time you want to go and show you things that he did. Amen. In these days, the glory of the Lord is one of the most important things coming. Yes. It will cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. All this is in the word of God. There'll be that much glory. You will create a glory cloud and walk around in it. So that even the night will be light about you. Does it say that in the Bible? Mm -hmm. That glory comes from you. This is what they do to me. I'll go, go somewhere just to visit and uh, I was at some kind of campgrounds or something. Not camping. I don't do camping. <laughs> not even in Florida. My husband's a camper and a fisher. I do not want seafood. Mm -hmm. My hate list is Satan, underneath that, seafood. Mm -hmm. So he gave me a fisherman. Of course he did. <laughs> a task man, a military man, who shoots out orders like, do it now, come on, let's go. I only want to hear yes or no. I don't need to hear a description. Don't need to hear a description. I said, he put words in my mouth till they go all night long, even while you're sleeping. I know, it's a wonder I can sleep. <laughs> my husband of 47 years. Oh, yeah. 47 years of fish. <laughs> to the point where the ice in your lemonade tasted like fish. Oh. Yeah, I felt the same way. <laughs> But I had no choice. God said, you're going to marry him. I need to see that we'll be married. 
produce you a new boy seed. It will come to you. You have, this is him telling me before I'm married, you have three daughters at least five years apart. Mm. And when they get married, I'll give them profits. Mm. My daughters have a company of profits. They don't just, they're not just raising kids. They're raising profits. That's right. That'd be like having me multiply. Come on. Mm -hmm. My grandkids can prophesy to anybody whether they want it or not. Follow strangers down the street and walk up and say what God said. They're like, you know, like they were 11, 8, and like 6. Now they have Izzy. Israel Fierce. That's his name. He's fierce about everything. Wow. Passionate about everything. He's a seer because he watches everybody's angels. Wow. When I first met him, he was about four months old. He's like this. <laughs> my angel is very tall. He was looking at my angel, then he was with his dad's angel, with his mom's angel, and he was trying to get his mom. <laughs> so they have seers and prophets, and I can tell you, it's not normal either. That's right. You have to learn to love people no matter what. Mm -hmm. But more than that, you have to learn how to forgive them. That's right. They don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Go to the cross. If you think that they were so bad, you can't forgive them. Are you on the cross? Mm -hmm. What did Jesus say? The ones who were murdering him, what did he say? Forgive them. Forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. And I always go back to that. If he can do that, then I can forgive anybody for anything. That's right. And they don't know what they're doing. They don't know the person that they're speaking to or saying that about probably has answers they need to help change their life. Mm. And if you told me to go to them, guess what? I'd still get them more. Mm -hmm. I would. But when you have unforgiveness in you, it can ruin your life. Hold you off from the path you need you to be on. And you're so free when you forgive. There's nothing in here that can interfere with what he has for you. I'm going to show you this little thing I have. I don't think I brought this before, did I? No. This represents a human soul. This is going to be a five-minute message because I'm trying to keep it down to five minutes each. I don't have 20 years, so I have to cram it all together. <laughs> anyway, this little thing, my sister found it for me. I've, I've known for quite a while what a human soul looked like. The father one time came into my bedroom and said, um, let the others know you won't be coming out for about four hours. I'm going to show you a human soul, and you can teach you something that will change the way the body of Christ lives. Because I don't, this is the fault that's speaking. I don't have six months or six years for them to get healed by seeing a psychiatrist or going to therapy. This, what I'm going to teach you in three minutes, they can be free of anything. He said, so you need to pay attention. And then he began to show me the human soul, how it was made. Inside the spirit man, the soul is in the very center of your being. How do I know? Guard your heart. Is a location of something. It's not your human, it's on the side right. Your beating heart is not what he's talking about in that scripture. Guard your heart, for out of it will flow the way you live your life. Yes. For out of it will flow the issues of your life, or the way you live your life. This is what he's talking about, the soul. So the location of the soul is right here, in the very core of your being. The heart of your being is your soul. Most of you have been raised, if you have a body, you know, you, you know you're, you're, you're wrapped around the spirit, and, and you have a soul. No, they're wrong. You are a soul. So if he calls you a soul, don't you think your soul is important? Mm -hmm. When he made Adam in the garden, remember that? And the father leans over, and I know Jesus was there. His name was the word then. The word made him. Because again, in the word it says, he made everything that was made, but we may never be made. The word was with God and was God. That part. Mm -hmm. So he made the human soul. And when he said, I need you together in your mother's womb, he is not talking about your arms and legs. He's not talking about that. He's talking about your soul and your spirit at the time of conception. Jesus comes. Your angels come. He come then. They come in. And he knits together that dot of flesh to your spirit and soul. 
He says, I attached it, didn't he? Yes, Say that? He yes. Yeah. And did you know that when that happens, there's a flash of light? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your spirit and your soul becomes, it comes from heaven. Mm-hmm. So when he attaches that, it probably wished you could go back to heaven, probably many times. And so that it couldn't, he attached it. So you are a human, you're a human being, but you are a living soul. When we lived in God, we didn't need to make decisions. We lived in him, rode on the, on the rays of the rainbow, in and out of him. We played in the river of life, jumped on the stones of fire, ran up his holy hill. That's what we did. So we didn't have to make a lot of decisions. We weren't really in charge of our life. But when you, when you are, and when you become that, Adam then was responsible for every thought he made, every choice he made, every action he did. He became a living soul. So you are that important to know what your soul is, how it operates, how to empower it. You will prosper. And be in health, which is a state of existence. It's not sick and healed. It's that you're whole all the time. You will prosper, right? Yes. When what? Your soul, soul prospers. prospers. When your soul prospers. If you're not prospering, what's in your soul? Mm -hmm. Not what's in your pocket. What's in your soul? <laughs> Is this all true? Yes. yes. What you allow yourself to watch or listen to or go to will be put in your soul. Mm -hmm. What you say about yourself goes in your own soul. If you don't like you, get it out of your soul. Mm -hmm. If you're angry, if you're upset, if you're grieving, if you're tormented, it doesn't matter going down the long list of everything that could happen to you. It's about your soul. How do you get rid of that? The keys to the kingdom. How many people will today even carry keys and have plays? They don't even know what they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I give you the keys to the kingdom for binding and loosing. What? What's in your soul? That's right. People, well, I bind the devil all the time. Well, you can use it that way if you want to. The way it was made to operate is you loose out of your soul what you don't want there. Mm -hmm. Addictions. Yes. Pornography. Hate. Those kind of things. Things you watch, places you go to. Whatever you do not go to. Um, I'm trying to remember what they're called now. The, the wannabe holiday of Halloween. What? I'm asking the question, somebody. <laughs> Those wicked places they make that have evil spirits and pictures and stuff in there. A haunted house. You get another cookie. There you go. <laughs> Do not go to haunted houses. No way. They're in fact, they call them that, invites evil spirits to come and be there. That's right. You could leave one, leave with one if you go. That's right. If you've been to one, get rid of it, lose it from your soul. That's right. And I'm so serious, especially now in this time, with evil trying to take over, mm -hmm. witchcraft is being operated, or do not, do not have nothing to do with a necromancer. That's right. That's witchcraft. Y'all are in school tonight, heaven school. Come is that on. okay? Yes, yes it is. Just some simple things you hear tonight could change your whole life. That's right. Your family's life. If they're grieving because their boyfriend dumped them, he wasn't worth it anyway. <laughs> Come on. And that girl's grieving, doesn't want to live anymore, have her loosened from her soul. That's right, that's right. They'll be gone like yesterday's newspaper. Yep. I've done it before. They want to commit suicide. Their friends that have them call me. And I say, are you ready to get, get rid of this feeling you're having? You don't want to suffer. You don't want to be tormented, right? He didn't want you anyway. So you want to get rid of it? Then you're going to have to ask something in Jesus' name. These are unbelievers, not mm -hmm. Are you willing to do that? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Then you may say, in Jesus' name, I choose with my will to loose for my soul. And give the guy's name, so-and-so. Lose him totally, completely. The relationship, I break the relationship. I sever any attachment to remain to that relationship right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And that second, heaven comes down and pulls it out of her. That's right. They start laughing and crying. It's gone. I mean, gone. Like, it's gone. I mean, they're so undone. I don't even think about it. When I say his name, I don't think anything. I'm so filled with happiness and joy right now. I'm going to go out there and run around the block. Oh my gosh, I mean, he's gone. 
<laughs> Come on. Because you use the keys to the kingdom. Don't keep it. That's right. You got an addiction? Lose the addiction. Guess what? It won't come back. That's right. I've talked to men's prisons and taught them how to not commit crimes anymore. To end up in the same place they just got out of. They were supposed to be rehabilitated, but they still had stuff in their soul. What's in your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotion. In other words, you'll think about the crime. You'll think about it, then you'll choose it with your will, then you go do it. Then you put yourself back in prison again. They have a life cycle of being in prison. Because what's in your soul is what you will do. It's what you will think about. It's what, what you want. It'll be what you want. That's right. So everybody, the body crush, you need to get your soul together. I'll make t-shirts, what's in your soul? <laughs> and on the back of it should say darkness or light. That's right. Life or death. Mm -hmm. So this little thing I'm going to show you is what represents your soul. Now you imagine every one of these pages would be an image of you. Your soul is a living thing, it's not a stagnant thing. This is a human soul, and I'm actually gonna have some many so you can see them. Every, every page would be a layer of you connected to the will. So your soul has layers in it. I've learned many times that people think of layers like this. You no, know, there's other layers. People. <clears throat> So this would be a soul that's really clean, it's righteous, happy, filled with God, doing his work. And this is you, 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 these are all you. Mm. And people have different layers. The more layers you have, the more excited you are. My husband has five. <laughs> <laughs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit, fishing, me, and more fishing. That's his five layers. So he's not very expression, he doesn't have a lot of expression unless he's fishing. This is mine, 5,000 layers, okay? I can think of so many things. I'm trying to still teach him what a woman is. <laughs> he thinks if I'm talking, I'm not doing stuff, you know? You need to be doing stuff. Like, Am I doing stuff? Yes, we're talking. Well, you know, a woman is help, right? We were sent as help. Well, you need help, so why not listen? <laughs> well, just give me a yes or no answer. You're not going to get much help. Anyway, forget that. So this is you, all these images, and they're moving, they're all moving because it's alive, right? So this is you, picture you here in this whole thing, and your will runs up to the, the, the middle of that, in the center is your will. Above that is your mind, it's not your brain. Say, your mind, your mind. is not your human brain. It's, not your human it's brain. a spiritual thing. Yes. So we reaching you and took your soul out, set it here. This is what you see, layers of you. This is a very strong column that God wrote things on before he sent you here. Mm -hmm. He wrote words from him on your will. And then above that is the mind. It's not like a solid thing, but this is your mind up here. And so you're going along with your life all happy. Then somebody talks to you to take drugs, you get an addiction. In here goes darkness. Mm -hmm. You just got a layer of darkness. The more you take it, the more layers of darkness. Mm. Until it looks gray. And you've clouded your light with something that's not right. Your will has to choose. It doesn't want it anymore. Even though you don't feel like you could stop, you could give it up, you can. You can do that. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is that's in your soul, no matter any of those things I mentioned or things I didn't think about, what you can do is you choose to loose it from your soul. Heaven literally comes down and pulls it out. When I, when I speak that and I pray for people, I see gray matter being pulled out by wow. angels. Wow. They literally come down and pull it out of you. Mm -hmm. So that's what this is. And then the light goes back in there. And, and all of you doing, it says, don't remember, remember when it talks about the house being empty, but don't leave it empty. Yeah. Yeah. You have to put God in those places. That's right. The more you speak about God, the more you speak about His Word, the things that the supernatural you talk about, if you keep talking about them, you will do them. This is how God says it. You will not escape walking on air if you talk about it. You will not escape praying for millions of people and mass healings happen. You will not escape praying for homosexuals and the body changes they had made when they get, when they get healed, they get them back. I've seen a million people, homosexuals, get born again 
and body parts flew down from heaven and were put back on them when they had taken them off. That's God. This is one of the things that's going to start happening. There's going to be evidence that the word, of, the word of God is real, that God is real. But this is one of the best examples I saw of, her, of a soul, a human soul. And so this is you. Make sure you stay filled with light. Remember, it's very important. So, yeah, my sister, that was really cool. She gave me that. So today I'm going to be praying for people. Um, I don't do individual prophecies. He won't let me. Like she said, it's about the body. So when I come to speak, it's not to one or two people. It's nice to get personal words. But when I come, this is for the body of Christ. Yeah. These words are for everybody in this room. Amen. If you're born again, receive Christ as your Savior, these words are for you. That you can be supernatural. You can have an exciting life. You can call down money from heaven, body parts from heaven. You can call down time from heaven. Do you know we control time? Does God control time? Yes. Then we do. Mm -hmm. Let us make man in our image and after our likeness. Their likeness is how they operate. We aren't going to be God. How many people don't want to be God? <laughs> that is a big job and I don't want it. I don't want to have to take care of a million kids, 10 million kids, 100 million kids. I don't want to do that. I already had 14, remember. So don't ask for what you think you want and you don't want it at all. He might give it to you anyway. But in these days, can you picture someone going into a grocery store, somebody faints or sick or just they have a heart attack. You walk past them and the glory you're carrying heals them. And they're not just healed. They have a whole new heart in them. Amen. Christ in you is the hope of glory. This is what I'm talking about. Christ in you, in you. He is in you. He wants you to impact people everywhere you go. Not just people you like, especially those you don't like. Like your enemies. My God, my God was so good to me to give me the father I had. He loved his enemies. He did an example of that for me. I, I grew up knowing my dad loved his enemies. And they would make fun of him and call him names all the time and my brothers wanted to shoot him because they were in the flesh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> my one brother actually goes on secret assignments for the government and he takes out wicked people. So people who think there's nothing going on right now, it all looks like evil's winning, you don't know what this government is, but the government, the true government, is President Trump. Trump is number 45, number 46. He will be number 47. So right now, the only legal representative to heaven we have on this earth for our country is President Trump. That's why he can't be, he can't be stopped. He can't be made afraid. He can't be stopped from his goal because he knows what his assignment is, is to make America great. That's right. That's what his goal is and that's what he's going to do. And yes, I'm wearing a shirt with him on it right now. <laughs> and it says, his favorite new saying, fear not. When he was shot, when he was shot, 20 minutes before he was shot, he was texting me from the platform where the rally was. Is there anything else he wants me to say to the people? He was talking about God. Is there anything else I need to know before I start speaking? And God said to him, he said, tell him these words. I said, God said to you, no matter what happens tonight, no matter how bad it looks, don't ever surrender and fear not. Don't let fear stop you in your life and the goal that I have given you. I have your back. So no matter what it is that happens, get up and keep going. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody stop I didn't even know what he meant. Don't let anybody stop you. And remember these two words, fear not. There's a t-shirt. Fear not. 
I kept saying, I'm waiting on the teacher. Because every time he texted me after that, that's what he said. Fear not. Every text he said, no, fear not, I'm Donald J. Trump. He was recognizing God. He actually, the next time was when he, put, he showed up with the biggest Bible, he'd be fine. He said, he was saying, you're the most, you're the most special people in the whole world. We've never had about He says, no, I'm not. And they were yelling, who is it? And he said, Jesus Christ, That's right. the Son of God. There's no one higher than him. That's right. And he does believe in Jesus Christ. That's right. He's saying even stronger, he knows he saved his life. Everybody, even the Democrats are saying his life was saved by God. They don't try anymore. That's right. That's right. Because you're wasting your time. That's right. God is covering him. He is not going to let him go anywhere. He wants his will. He wants God's will. And God's going to have his will in his way because he's saying, I want it. Mm -hmm. Make sure you say that to him. He has supernatural divine protection. He probably has 100,000 angels with him all the time. A million between him and his family and those who actually do really work for him, not the rhinos. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what a rhino is, the Republican is rotten. <laughs> There's someone who's out, you know, someone this is that you need to know about people's souls, right? Right. So he's very cautious right now about who he's gonna believe, who he's gonna trust. That's right. But he trusts God. Yeah. I got a text from him tonight. I wanna tell you what it says. Anyway, it was good. He didn't want to do anything without knowing what God says. And he's serious. Mm -hmm. So all those Democrats with all the big money throwing it away by the hour. That's right. They're just as like it's nothing. They're going to lose it anyway. Mm -hmm. So in these days, that's why it says look up where your help comes from. When you have someone as a president standing in that position willing to ask God for help, why would you want anyone else? Don't let the fake news, you know, what they've cluttered your soul with, and they know about, they know about, you know, bending your mind, they know how to do that. And that's what they've done. For years they've been feeding people hate messages about him, and they don't even know why they don't like him. Get it out of your soul. I actually say that too. I'm speaking to the wicked now, okay? Get that garbage out of your soul. It's not helping you or your family. They're probably isolating yourself from you anyway. If you want to kill babies and put on a big show about it, do you think they want to be with you? I think heaven's shaping a lot of new millstones right now. And I don't know if you know what a millstone is. Some of them can be 10 foot tall. Wow. You see those mills? In the old countries, mm -hmm. they had a big millstones crushing yeah, the yeah, grain. Yeah. God's talking about that. It's not a little rock. That's right. <laughs> How bad is it going to be for them? It would be better than a millstone be put around their neck and they'd be thrown into the sea. In other words, what he's going to do to them, it would be better for them to have that done than what he's wow, going to wow, do about yeah. us. Wow. You can't take a spark of life set from heaven and destroy it. And I think they lost a lot more people the day they decided to have the abortion bus parked in front of the Democratic National Committee's meeting. That's right. And then they would run inside and brag how many they'd killed. Yeah, they did. They said they were so proud of themselves. They started a riot. A riot started. People could not stand it. They couldn't even believe that they would do something that bad and evil. Mm. So they lost thousands of members of the Democratic Party have now come to the Republican Party and um, I'm just wanting to encourage you. You hear fake news, you hear people say things you don't know who to believe. God is going to have his will, his way in these days. He planned them before Satan was even made. A created being cannot control a supernatural, eternal God. That's right. They have no power over him. They have no right to speak about anything. They have no platform. They have no access. They have no permission to do any of the evils they're doing in this country. And Satan, once again, will lose. And he's going to lose really hard. Mm -hmm. When that landslide of fraud exposure starts, That's right. it will not end until every single one of them have been exposed, That's right. brought judgment against, and punished. That's 
right. So you are going to have liberty, justice, and freedom. That's what this country stands for, and that's why God made this country. That's right. He said, don't say America is evil. Do not say those words. Those people are evil. America itself is not evil. Say amen. 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 It's true. You wouldn't like if people were accusing you of something. This country didn't choose any of that. Who made this country? God did. And those who gave their lives to help keep it, right? Mm -hmm. I wish I could tell you some things. I can't tell you some of the stuff I know. It's from this earth, though. Mm. They just think that we're all pretty stupid mm -hmm. and just going to go along with what they want. We're all kind of bad anyway. No, they're looking at their own soul. That's right. You don't have to have any of it, accept any of it, and all those fake laws and criminal laws they made as good will be wiped off the books as soon as Trump gets his seat back. Amen. 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 So these are very exciting days we're in right now. They may be hard to live through, but they're still exciting because of what is coming. You're about to step into a whole new realm in a whole new time that never existed before. Mm. The greatness of God himself, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. You're going to step right into a whole new realm where you see them, where you know them. The veil is getting thinner and thinner. What veil? The veil between the flesh realm and the spirit realm. Mm. There'll be one point in this earth, whoever's still here, they'll walk down the streets, you'll see demons on one side, you'll see angels on the other. You see them having conversations. That's why it's important to know who they are and what they represent. Mm. And if they kept their way, if they had their way, nobody would know anything. <clears throat> they don't want people to know the truth. The truth is a weapon against hell. Say, I am dangerous against hell. I'm dangerous against hell. Because I receive Jesus Christ. Because I receive Jesus and Christ. And him alone will I serve. And him alone will I believe in him. I believe in him. I live for him. I, live for him. I follow him. I, follow him. I, want him. I want to be just like him. Those words would feed your soul if you said them every day. Your soul would be so strong. Why? Because you have the life of God in you. If there's something you don't have, ask him for. Wake up in the morning and say, Father, I ask for grace for this day. And heaven will send fuel and fill your soul with that fuel from heaven. Mm -hmm. His grace is sufficient for the day, for the evil thereof. That's right. Mm -hmm. You will not live the same. You won't think the same. I wake up in the morning, I open my eyes and I say, Good morning, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And then I say, I ask for and receive grace for this day. Sometimes I say, I ask for quadruple grace. Mm -hmm. I ask for double grace. You know you can have more, right? Yes. It's always more with God. Ask for more. Yes. And then you say, I also ask for and receive your boldness, yes. your presence, yes. your will, yes. your way. Yes. I ask for your joy. I ask for your celebration. I ask for your strategies. I'm just filling myself up. My soul is so excited to get out of that bed because I am full of heaven. Amen. Anybody can do that. It's free. If you're not happy, lose the sadness, lose the grief, lose your cares. And the word talks about Jesus and cast your cares on him because he cares for you. Is that what it says? Yes. I was raised on the word of God. I was anointed by God when I was sent to this earth as a baby. They couldn't even put water on me for a year. I had to be bathed in oil because of what God had for me. Mm. It's not easy to live this kind of life, but it's worth everything. Yes. So close your eyes, please. Father, I pray for the people here right now, God. I stand before your throne right now and ask you to begin to invade their lives with heaven. Let them see angels in their kitchen, in their driveway, alongside of them, running behind their cars, in front of their cars to protect them. Let them know that you are real, that you care, that you have a plan, that you are their God. Let them get revelation from heaven.
the same way I did. Catch them up and give it to them. Say, I receive it. I receive it. I thank you, Father, for honoring the prayer that I'm praying. It's what you want for everyone who knows you. I thank you for your family that's here tonight, God, that I'm talking to family. We all love the same God. We've chosen the same God. We're different people. We have different personalities, different desires, different plans for our life. Don't ever think he has forgotten you. He holds the air you breathe in the palm of his hand. Father, blow your breath on us right now. And feel it sweeping over their soul, Father. I've been cleaning the walls of their heart. I thank you, God, that they'll never forget this night. She won't let them, Holy Spirit. We're all especially and wonderfully made to be powerful people in this earth. Whether anyone knows you or not, he knows you. He wants to spend time with you. He wants to know you. He wants you to have a relationship. Religion is the wrong word to use. I do not practice religion. I practice relationship. Prayer for me is conversation with God all day and all night. I'm up 20 hours. It's a lot of time to give him. He's worth it. Be so glad when you get to heaven one day and you're rejoicing. We're about to have a great celebration in this earth when this whole thing flips. And I don't mean like it's just going to flip like turning a page. I mean, if I can get this magnet, it's like, here you are, and the whole thing just totally flips completely to a whole new direction mm -hmm. and a new life. New things to do, new places to go, new things to create. You are a creator because he's a creator. Mm -hmm. You are a commander of the host because Jesus is a commander of the host. You are a high priest. Jesus is our high priest. We are a priest unto him. We're visionaries because they're visionaries. We're wealthy because they're wealthy. Jesus came and died so we could be rich. Don't think of yourself never being able to have money. He wants you to have money. Okay? The desire for money is evil. Mm. Not money. You need money to run your life to do the things God is showing you. Right. Some people were shown 30 years ago what God they would do for God. They're still going to do it. He showed me 50 years ago something I would do. I'm still going to do it. I will not be going home for a long time. But that is my home. My citizenship is in heaven. That's right. All your citizenship is here. Is here. You're just down here for a season. I think part of it's training. Part of it's growing in God, discovering Him and growing in Him. How would you like to go pay for a whole city mm. to have everything rebuilt in it? How would you like to have a bank card that has more than all of New York has? You need to see yourself that way because the King's Council is coming. Yes. And it's all about the wealth. Don't forget how special you are. So Father, I thank you for blessing these people who came tonight because they were hungry. Feed them. And make sure you give them dessert, God. That's the best part. And that's what's coming. The best part is coming. Don't believe very much of what you see on TV or online and don't look for it. Don't fill your soul with things that don't matter. Pray for people to know the truth, to be set free in these days coming on the earth. It will be strange and wonderful. And people will say, you are so strange. Thank them for saying that about you. Because they are strange in heaven. Something your mind never conceived of, the things that you can do there. On earth as it is in heaven is what we will have on this earth. It will not be heaven, but it will be like heaven. Mm -hmm. So let's stand up and give a shout to God.
<clears throat> Say, Father. Father. I thank you for your words. I thank you for your words. They are truth. They are truth. They bring life. They bring life. And hope. Hope. And, creativity and creativity and celebration. Celebration. I want all of them. I want all of them. I want to help people. I want to help people. I want to love people. I want to, love people. I want to share the truth. Share the truth. Even if it means I have to have purple hair. I have purple hair. <laughs> Say Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you that you were willing you you to change were willing your very image. To change your very and come image. and live in this world. Come and live in this world. I know it wasn't easy. I know it wasn't easy. Training those disciples. Training those disciples. You're merry men. Merry men. Even you said. Even you said. How long am I going to put up with you? How long am I going to put up with you? He is long suffering. He's long suffering. And he loves you very much. He loves you very much. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For being my best friend. For being my best friend. If I haven't invited in you before, I invite you right now. To indwell me. To indwell me. To come alongside me. Come alongside and live inside me. Live inside. Show me things to come. Show me things to come. Give me great counsel. Give me great counsel. Make me laugh. Make me laugh. I want to know you more. Know you more. The third member of the Trinity. The drama king. We need some drama in our lives. I receive it. No matter what it looks like. I am excited. In Jesus' name. Father's name. Holy Spirit's name. Elohim. Come and see me. Or catch me up. Yes, yeah. Whenever you feel like it, you feel like I, it. Give you I give you permission. Amen. 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 You can sit down. <laughs> if you have children, I just want to remind you, you're not just raising a child. You're mentoring a soul for God. The most precious treasure he has are those children he sends us. He's thought about it for a long time. Where to place what child, what family, what generational line does he want to add to? I'm from eight generations of strong believers. Powerful strong believers. My husband is from the generations of the Celtic. The ones who used to live on the islands, they had that tower they had to climb every day, unless they didn't have to climb it. They just went up. The ones who would be put in a little boat with no paddles and thrown out the sea, and God would direct that little boat where he wanted it to go, no matter how far away it was. He's from those people. I'm from people who were presidents, who were horse thieves, we forgave them. Creators, stained glass window making. We have a lot of people in our family line. We did a lot of different things. One thing that family line continually ran after was to know God. I'm doing this because of what they paid a price for. I'm connected to all those generations of those who went on before me. And in this time, for God's purposes, I was sent to this earth. In 1952, he sent me to New York. I was born in New York. I have great authority in New York because that's where my spirit first touched the ground. The first ground I walked on was that ground. So no matter where you live now, whatever state you were born in, you have great spiritual authority in that state. New York is about to be hit by a tornado of Holy Spirit. Because I'm not letting that go to hell. Part of my heritage is there. Think about who you are. You are not here just by mistake. You are planned and anointed and appointed by God himself. He watches over you. He waits to hear you talk to him. 
Tell him, get in a room by yourself. She got the door and say, I want to know you. I did that to Jesus for 20 years. I want to know you. And it was like 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 a.m. I still go back and say, I want to know you more than anything. I need to know you. I desire to know you. And one night he walked through the wall of my house. Amen. And he has never stopped walking through the wall of my house. Let him know how you feel. He wants to know you. And these days, are, these are historical days in our lives. Historical days for this country and even for the world. The decisions we make here in America will impact the whole world. That's right. That's why the enemy wants this place. That's right. It's all about taking something from God. And he's not going to get it. Everybody shout, He's not, He's not going to get our country, get our country. That, belongs to God. that belongs to God. We pray for our country, we pray for our country. declare God over our country, God over in, our country. in our country, and for our country. For our country. Write, it down, God. Write it down, God. Put it in the books. Put it in the books. I'm, ready. I'm ready whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready. for me to begin to manifest for you, to erase the gray area that says there is no God. I'm excited. Amen. So I can lay hands on everybody and do an impartation. It won't take very long. We don't have many people here. Do you want that? Yes. Then line up. Who wants to do your offering first? Oh, wait, sit down for a second. <laughs> and I, I, I was whole time I've been praying over everybody watching right now. I release the life of God, the love of God, the power of God, His will, His way, His exceptions for you, His love for you, His plans for you, the promises in His word, let them come alive. Be made whole in Jesus' name in the spirit, in the soul, in the body, in every way possible, that you will prosper and be in health. I pray for your family to be restored, your jobs to be restored or better, your property to be redeemed, your buildings to be rebuilt. I pray for your life to make a difference in this world. In Jesus' name, everyone out there, say I receive it. Amen. So you want mine. Just quickly before uh, things get wild and crazy, before everyone leaves, we want to give you an opportunity to sow into Cat Kerr's ministry. We want to receive an offering, and uh, we want you to do your very best. So if um, you would like a credit card slip, uh, please raise your hand. We have ushers in the aisles. Um, if you want to write a check, just make the glory fire, and we will give her one check at the end. Also, you can go... Online, for those of you watching online, you can uh, go to our website, glorifierchurch.com. Click on the PayPal button and sew there, but designated for Cat Kerr. We will make sure she gets that. So thank you so much uh, for being here tonight. Remember, tomorrow night we start at 6 o'clock. Everybody say 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Okay. And uh, we look forward to hearing from uh, David and Joanne tomorrow night. So. Um, I'm just going to turn it back to Kat. Uh, as soon as you have your gift or offering ready, just bring it forward, place it in the treasury boxes, and we will get it from there. Thanks. Does she want a chair or do we need to move this? Do we need to move it? Just set that up my Do you want to move the pulpit? Oh, yeah, you can move it. Now they can come. Yes. <laughs> One of the things I have learned from doing this for many years is that you can only impart what you carry. You can pray for people to have things, you know, even pray with them or believe with them. But if you carry it, you can impart it. 
Tonight I'm going to impart the light and power of God. What does that do? Well, number one is what kicks Satan out of heaven. <laughs> Lightning bolts belong to God. They don't belong to Harley Davidson. They don't belong to hell. They're terrified of God's lightning bolts. You see, the lightning power of God, you may use that to destroy any works of darkness of people. It especially works with cancers and tumors. It could be like even really bad grief or um, other things that they're involved in. You can send it. This is how I send it. A friend of mine called and said, my mom's in the hospital. They've operated twice. They're about to do another surgery. They said it's inoperable, but they can look at it. It was a big tumor. And I stood in my yard. I didn't go where she was at. And I said, I send the light of power of God to strike that sickness right now. Make it be pieces when they go inside to operate. They won't find anything to take out. I got a call from my friend the next day. They opened her up. Little tiny shreds of the tumor were everywhere. What did that? The lightning power of God. It's a gift, and you're going to get it tonight. Okay? I'm simply going to lay hands on you and go, oh, it's the lightning power of God. And you may feel a jolt. I've done this quite a few times, and some people go home and their lights blink off and on. Somebody walks up the stairway and the lights would blink off and on all the way up there. Sometimes lightning bolts shoot out of the wall. And after that meeting, I did that to like 3,000 people. <laughs> that was God. And people would walk up to other people to meet them and they take their hand and they go, what was that? <laughs> they got zapped because that lightning was in them. Now it's not going to do anything if you don't use it. Right? You have to use it. In Jesus' name. I can come over there. I can come over there. Oh, I will. So remember, this is a gift from God. It's not from me. I have the ability to impart it to you because I received it. And I was actually... Um, very sick when I received it. This was a long before I even started doing any of this. And um, Willard, who was, um, I'm trying to remember who's, remember him, uh, he took over, I think, for John G. Lake, I think it was John G. Lake, maybe. And um, it was his son in law, and he was on, um, I had Billy Grimman give me a whole bunch of tapes. Have you ever gotten her little cassettes? About 20 of them. And I was, they threw me in the back of the vehicle, not in the back bed, but in the back seat. And I was going to Memphis to restore uh, Elvis's mantle that wasn't completed. And the devil did not want me to go, so he took my voice away, all kinds of stuff. And I told my sister in law, Margaret, stick me in the back seat, I'm going. And when I get there, I will walk up the steps, because I couldn't at that time. So I was laying there in this truck, listening to all these speakers. The grace, like Kenneth Hagin Sr. and all the other ones like that, speaking in a word. And then Wheeler gets up and he said, I'm here to release something. He said, if you want it, just say, you receive it. And I was, I was wanting my healing. So when he spoke two syllables in tongues, two songs, two songs, I could barely get out the words, I receive it. I didn't even ask for my healing, I just said, I receive it. A lightning bolt came in through my open window, hit me on my feet, and went through my entire length of my body, out of my head. And I jumped up, it was winter time. I was so hot, I made them roll the windows down in the truck. I am burning up, they were burning up. I was so, and I was speaking normal like this. And I got this hand and went, let's get to that church as fast as we can. And so we got to the church and they were, we did the whole meeting, it was powerful. Alice's mantle that was not completed was imparted, was re-imparted. And then God said, now you're going to release the lightning power of God into people. I'm like, where did I get that? <laughs> I said, when you were healing, which is what you wanted, you know that's what he, that's what he teaches, that's what he's all about. He said, so when you receive that, you got it all. So you have the gift of lightning power of God. So get up there. I mean, we pray for everyone in that church. There were so many healings. All kinds of wild stuff just happened in there because of that lightning power of God that's going everywhere. But the, the, breath, the blessing about this is you don't have to be present to send it. 
Okay? In Jesus' name, I just send the lightning out of God. So that's what you're going to get tonight. You're also getting a blessing for your finances. You're about to get unlimited resources put in your hands. This is also from him. He's adding this because you were hungry, you waited, so you get an extra blessing. If you need more resources of income in your life, make sure you say, when I say that, I'll say that first. After, then I'm going to learn about God. Blessings will begin to flow from everywhere. You may even be shocked where they come from. I'm not talking about $100. I'm talking about mass money. Money belongs to the Lord. The wealth is His. There's no wealthier place than heaven. It's not cheap, and He's not cheap. If you're His children and you need this, shout, just let's do it now. Say, I receive it. I receive it. The bonus, the bonus. of unlimited resources. Unlimited resources. Right, now, right now, I expect it to happen. So now you've already asked for it, okay? So here we go. Just come on up here. Father, I right now, huh, since we've already imparted, Father, I impart unlimited resources to your son right now and the lightning power of God right now. In Jesus' name. When it's a gift you're getting, you don't have to fall. You may do that when you get home. If you're burning all night long and you keep getting in the shower, don't waste your time. <laughs> Just start sending that lightning power somewhere. You know, get up in the middle of the night, 3 a.m., just go start sending it everywhere. You so shock the devil. You shock the devil. I like to shock them. Father, I impart to your daughter right now unlimited resources and finances right now and the lightning power of God right now. In Jesus' name. Okay, it's not like this. Father, right now I just impart to your son that you request unlimited resources of finances to come into his hands, God. And I also impart to him the lightning power of God to destroy anything, any acts of the enemy, anything in his body, his soul, or his spirit. Let it be destroyed right now that is from hell, filling it with life, with power, with wellness, health, and excitement. He's going to run his race. He's not going to ride his race, crawl his race, drag his race, run it. People were hedges and in other places in the spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So we're going to go back to the line. This is the best way to do this. God said, I can't let you just, you know. This is the way he designed. It's called the acceleration. Say it's acceleration time. It's acceleration time. Bring it on. Bring it on. Father, I impart to you, God, right now. Unlimited resources from you, Father, for finances. And I also impart to her the lightning power of God. Amen. Amen. Father, I impart to you, daughter, unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God right now. I can't wait for people to start getting those unlimited resources. <laughs> I expect them to come. Yes. Say, I expect it. I expect it. I impart to God unlimited resources, the finances, and the lightning power of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I impart to your son unlimited resources, the finances, and the lightning power of God. Father, I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I impart to your daughter right now unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I impart to your son unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. <laughs> I impart to your son right now. Hold your hands up like this. Unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. Amen. <laughs> I impart to your daughter. Unlimited Whoa, resources and finances. Stop. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> 
and the light of the word of God. I'm part of your son right now. I'm going to be resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I'm part of your daughter. I'm going to be resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I'm part of your daughter. I'm going to be resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I am part of your son, unlimited resources and finances, and the lightning power of God. I am part of your daughter, unlimited resources and finances, and the lightning power of God. Yes. I am part of your daughter, unlimited resources and finances, and the lightning power of God. I am part of your daughter, unlimited resources and finances, and the lightning power of God. I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. Father, I impart to your son unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I impart to your son. Unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. Amen. I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. <laughs> I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I am part of your daughter, unlimited resources and finances, and the lightning power of God. I am part of your daughter, unlimited resources and finances, and the lightning power of God. I am part of your daughter, unlimited resources and finances, and the lightning power of God. I am part of your daughter, unlimited resources and finances. And the lightning power of God. I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I impart to your son unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I impart to your son unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. Amen. I impart to your son unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. <laughs> I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power Woo! of God. Woo! Yes. Woo! I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances Woo! and the lightning power of God. I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I impart to your daughter unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God. I impart to your daughter double, unlimited, however that is, resources and finances and the lightning power of God. My angels are pushing me around. Angels are pushing me around. Y'all go ahead and catch me if you have. Oh, not you. I'm talking to them. <laughs> okay. I feel really good right now. <laughs> All right. Get ready. Now you have to receive this, right? I am part to anyone listening. Hold your hands up. I'm going to slap twice. Father, I impart to anyone watching, I don't care, man, woman, child, by the way, there's only men and women, nothing in between. Amen. 
But here you go, being a woman, as long as you got it right, I impart to you unlimited resources and finances and the lightning power of God to anyone watching. In Jesus' name, say, I receive it. I receive it. Woohoo! I expect it to happen. I expect it to happen. Amen. Amen.